E and D here, more and more and more lead cars for Wilds Oval Drain. It seems that for the time being, pink entries were not involved. Anyway, let's start. And as I did for my first Wilds of Eldrain lead cards video, I will start with the Mythics, Besiege, the Mirror for one entry black, Sorcery, Bargain, search your library for a card, exile it face down, then shuffle. If the spell was bargained, you may cast the exile card without paying its mana cost if the spell mana value is 4 or less. Put the exile card into your hand if it wasn't casted this way. That's a nice way to tutor Sheoldred. Hard Flame Duelist for 1 and 1 white. It's a true one with adventure. Hard Flame Slash, 2 and 1 red. It deals 3 damage to any target. Instant and sorcery spell you control have lifelink. 3 blind mice, 2 and 1 white. It's an enchantment saga. Chapter 1 create a 1 1 white mouse creature token. Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 create a token that's a copy of target token you control. Chapter 4, creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 and gain vigilance until end of turn. Spellbook Vendor for 1 and 1 white is a 2 2 with vigilance. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay 1. When you do, create a sorcerer roll token attached to target creature you control. A sorcerer roll token means that the enchanted creature gets plus 1 plus 1 and has whenever this creature attacks, scry 1. Sleep Curse Fairy for 1 blue, it's a 3 3, Flying War 2, and as the battlefield tapped with 3 stun counters on it for 1 and 1 blue, untap it. Lord Skitter Sewer King for 2 and 1 black, it's a 3 3, Legendary Creature Red Noble, a new Red Commander. Whenever another red enters the battlefield under your control, exile up to 1 target card from an opponent's graveyard. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 1 1 black red creature token with this creature can block. Tangled Colony for 1 and 1 black, etc. 2 creature wreck. It can't block. When it dies, create X11 one, one black red creature tokens with this creature can block, where X the amount of damage dealt to it this turn. The end for 2 and 2 black instant. The spell costs 2 less to cast if your life total is 5 or less. Exile target creature or prince walker. Search its controller graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with the same name as that permanent and exile them. The player shuffles, then draw a card for each card exiled from their hand this way. Decat and Dragon for 2 and 2 red is a 4 4 with adventure. Expensive taste 2 and 1 black. Exile the top 2 cards of target's opponent's library face down. You may look at and play these cards as long as they remain exiled. Flying Trample. When it attacks, create a treasure token. Food Fight for 1 and 1 red. Enchantment. Artifacts you control have. 2 generic mana. Sacrifice this artifact. It deals damage to any target equal to 1 plus the number of permanent named Food Fight you control. Charming Scoundrel for 1 and 1 red, it's a 1-1 one, one with haste, and this is the battlefield, choose 1, discard the card, then draw a card, create a treasure token, create a wicked roll token, attached to target creature you control. Thunder's debut for 6 and 2 green, sorcery, bargain, look at the top 20 cards of your library, you may reveal up to 2 creature cards from among them, if the spell was bargained, put the revealed cards onto the battlefield, otherwise put the revealed cards into your hand, then shuffle. It's a nice way to put two Eldrazi Titans in play. Questing Druid for 1 and 1 green, someone 1 with adventure. Seek the beast for 1 and 1 red, instant. Exile the top two cards of your library until your next end step. You may play those cards. Whenever you cast a spell that's white, blue, black or red, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Feral Encounter for 2 green, sorcery. Look at the top 5 cards of your library. You may exile a creature card from among them. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. You may cast the exile card this turn. At the beginning of your next combat phase this turn, target creature you control this damage equal to its power to up to one target creature you don't control. The Apprentice's Folly for 2, 1 blue and 1 red, Enchantment Saga. Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, choose target non-token creature you control that doesn't have the same name as a token you control. Create a token that's a copy of it, except it isn't legendary, it's a reflection in addition to its other types and has haste. Chapter 3, Sacrifice or Reflections you control. Restless Bifolk enters the battlefield tapped. Tap to add 1 red or 1 white mana. For 1, 1 red and 1 white, it becomes a 2-2 two, two red and white ox creature until end of 10. It's still a land. When it attacks, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature you control. Restless Vine Stock enters the battlefield tapped. Tap to add 1 green or 1 blue mana. For 3, 1 green and 1 blue until end of 10, it becomes a 5-5 five, five green and blue plant creature with trample. It's still a land. Whenever it attacks, up to 1 target creature has base power and toughness of 3-3 three, three until end of 10. Fairy Dream Team for 1 black, it's a 1-1 one, one with flying. Enters the battlefield, survey 1. 2 and 1 black, exile it from your graveyard. You draw a card and you lose 1 life. 
Torch the tower for one red instant bargain. It deals two damage to target creature or prince walker. If the spell was bargained, instead it deals three damage to that permanent and you scry one. If a permanent dealt damage by torch the tower would die this turn, exile it instead. So that was the last card in this particular second Wilds of Eldraine League cards video. Join me again because I'm going to cover everything regarding this enchanted set. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the Collectible World.